We are looking for what are called ghost flowers or ghoul fingers or Indian pipe. Uh, they're kind of a, a rare find, but they're in full bloom right now. It's essentially a flower that lives around the pines and how the ecosystem works is there's there's three parts to the ecosystem um, when it when it rains and, and when pine trees white pines red pines when they photosynthesize um, and take in their nutrients and shed it onto the forest floor uh, the mushrooms around these pines will soak up this nutrients um, and then the, the mushrooms will um, turn that into carbon and extract the carbon and essentially what will happen is these ghost flowers will then feed off of that nutrients from the mushrooms that got their nutrients from the pine forest and the, uh, then the actual ghost flowers themselves don't photosynthesize um, they have no pigment they're white I mean they're only around a certain time of the year which is right now wait here's some right here So one of the th cool things to know too about these ghost flowers is they are closely related to blueberries and cranberries. So they're actually in the same family. Um, so if you're kind of searching in the woods and you're coming across pines, you're coming across mushrooms, you're coming across, in our case, blueberries, you're probably getting close to being in the right place. So if you are finding, um, and I'll put some pictures up here too for you guys to check out, um, but they're uh, the Rusula mushrooms and the Lacteria mushrooms. So if you are finding those that you do know, then you're in the right area. Keep looking around. Some ghost flowers. Right there. They're like standing straight up. Yep. Part of the monotropic be a family, which essentially means they can't produce their own food. Okay, they can't photosynthesize. They're white. They have no pigment. So funny how many. Yeah, they're totally random. Sometimes they're in the open. I get down, sometimes they're... A variety of right. Interesting. So one thing too when you're hunting for these ghost flowers is you really do need to get off the beaten path. Um, they do like the shaded areas or the, the places that aren't being torched by sunlight. I, you know, they don't require sunlight, so um, they don't photosynthesize, so you're not going to be finding them in a grassy field, that's for sure. Oh, there's some more right there. Oh, cool. Look at those ghost flowers. Mm. Wow. Those are pretty neat. They're just random. Yeah, they're totally random. I'll have to get a picture. So a couple interesting facts too about these ghost mushrooms is that, um, they are really used in traditional mes medicine. Um, the Cherokee tribes would use them as an anti-convulsant. Um, they were a dermatological aid um, and also used as, as eye wash. Um, but I've also seen people uh, make tinctures out of them and then use that for uh, dulling pain, like maybe dulling a toothache or dulling a migraine. Um, they're not gonna totally eliminate that pain, but it's, it's there to essentially help it dulling it Oh yeah, look at all those. Those are about expired. Yeah. 